in this battle, we're taking on Angel Lito Parton, who um, appears to be a high-ranked battler in this meta. I'm pretty sure he's like, um, I even know, man. He's pretty high. That's all I remember. It was like rank 7 or rank 8 or rank 9, somewhere in that ballpark. So anyways, I see that he has the, uh, whatever that thing is called. I forgot the name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, and I want to lead with the Heatran just to shut that down. And, um, he does have the Rayquaza, unfortunately. Um, but we, we need to find an opportunity to probably bring in the Escadrille just to wrap its spin because Charizard does not need to be hit with Star Rocks. So, is this the lead? Probably not, actually. I could just go into Charizard raw and just see what I can get out of it because he actually doesn't really seem to have something that wants any business with the fire types. So yes, as um, anticipated, he does lead with the Fortress. Um, now when you when you come across really high skill players, you'll see they try and mix it up a bit. Um, but typically, even even here at rank 823, which is relatively high in this specific game, since it gets reset, you know they're gonna do the same thing most of the time. So anyways, um, now you'll notice this is the Mega Charizard Y team. I didn't do a good job of explaining it, but this is the uh, Charizard, the Mega. That was your request, and really, I'll be honest. This is just a start of you know the Charizard Y experience. So I'm going to be trying to try different teams and different Pokemon. Although this was just one that I'd say is at a very high competitive level. Like all these Pokemon are meant to synergize really well. Now I don't know about Hatterene. That is not something I've ever used before. But I wanted Magic Bounce just so I could shut down Entry Hazards. Now I do have the Escadrille, but I don't think one layer is enough for my comfort, which is why I have Hatterene here with Magic Bounce, just in case I ever want to use that as a lead. And actually, dang, I messed up. I shouldn't just use that as a lead right now, especially since it has Mystical Fire. Let me just go do that right now, actually. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I completely forgot I actually have this because that's that. This is the exact purpose that this is for, so I can shut down his Dull Rocks on site. And now it's gonna be bounced back. Like man, I use Mega Sableye. That was my first Mega ever, and I remember just loving that ability. Like any entry hazard team was like so exciting to face for me because like no one would ever expect you know to get their entry hazards bounced back. So yeah, now he's basically got Star Rocks on his side, and that's going to shut down his own Charizard. And we're probably going to pick up a KO here somewhere. He might actually have Gyro Ball, though. That's going to be a problem, but I'm sure we can take those if we need to. And we've also brought, brought him down to his Focus Sash, so everything is nice right here. And I'm actually probably going to switch out into the uh, Charizard, probably. I don't think he's going to have the balls to Star Rock again. He's probably just going to go for the Gyro Ball if I were him. And the Charizard is definitely outspeeding the Fortress even after the speed boost. So this should be the optimal play. Oh, shoot. That was not the optimal play. Okay, I did not expect Explosion. I've never seen that before. It looks like we messed up pretty badly. And he's going to bring in the Dragapult, which luckily won't have Pursuit. That would have been bad. Um, Hatterene is available, although it's going to take super effective damage. So this is actually quite the threat to my team. Now I do have the Weavile here available to finish off the uh, Dragapult later. Um, although it's not really going to be great, like I might just have to Ice Shard. Yeah, this is a problem I'm not very well prepared for to be honest. Uh, I feel like Tangro comes out probably. It's probably going to go for the Dragon Darts to be honest. Maybe the Heatran. This doesn't really want to take defensive attacks though. Yeah, that's definitely a weakness of this team. I need to figure out in the future how I'm gonna, you know, handle these defensive attacks. Now maybe the Escadrill, just the Phantom Force will be, well if he goes for the Phantom Force and I can bring in the, Mew the Weewile, I actually don't know. I think Heatran comes out first since it has leftovers and can kind of recover the HP better. And I've noticed he doesn't really, I don't know how, how useful the Heatran will be in this team. Now it's gonna be a great answer to the Charizard, but that's gonna be its main goal. Um, what do I have in this? I have Toxic, so I'm going to set that up first. First stage. Oh, he's going to go for the Phantom Force. Now, that's going to do quite a lot of damage, but, I mean, the Toxic is going to build up now. So, it should hopefully be bearable. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We got him with the Toxic. Um, and now, what I want to do is probably pivot out into something else, so that Heatran doesn't just die like that. I mean, it's probably gonna, it can, it can be brought back since it has Flash Fire, so, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not that meat. Um, I think the Tangro comes out to take a hit, and I can knock off if he goes for another Phantom Force. 
so that's just going to be free damage. And I mean, Tango has regenerator and shouldn't get one shotted theoretically since it has insane defense, even base. Now, this is an assault vest, Tango, as you guys can see. Um, it might not be the most ideal. Like, I, I really do need to opt for a more physical defensive Pokemon. Maybe the Hatterene um, will get replaced. Or maybe, to be honest, though, this is very situational. I mean, Dragapult isn't always the most overpowered Pokemon. Um, but, like, this, the stab combination is a bit dangerous for my team, to be honest. It's not that easy to deal with. Um, mainly just a ghost type. Like, a physical ghost type is problematic. I'm gonna go for the knockoff here, though, and just take my damage that I can get. So it should be quite a good amount. Yeah, and we actually take that really, really nicely. And the knockoff does insanely good damage. So, yeah, he's gonna sustain some more. And actually, that's gonna finish him off. Never mind. Okay, I'll take that. I mean, yeah, the Tangro, Tangro is pretty good. I mean, I'm normally used to running the more physical defensive set, so I normally just switch right into it. Although, I think especially defensive Tangro would be more useful for this team, especially for this meta with Kyogre running around everywhere. So I don't want my team to get cooked up too badly by that. So anyways, the uh, Rayquaza comes out, and Hatterene actually can switch in and probably do something now, since this is not a terrible matchup. And the Weavile here is equipped with the Ice Shard, which is Choice Banded, and that's going to be... Really, really good. And the uh, Focus Sash Extra Drill too. Although we have sustained quite a lot of damage from some of my Pokemon. Like the Charizard and Heatran are not in a good position. Which is something I'll definitely have to work on. But right now, I I propose that the uh, Hatterene comes out. Since he hopefully will go for a Flying type attack. And we'll see if I'm wrong. I mean, I could also just go into the Escadrill Drill at some point later. Or he's going to go for the Dragon Dance, which is just totally fine. Yeah, so we are going to take the damage we can get on this. It's too bad, though. Like, I can't believe I just let him get the uh, explosion on the Charizard like that. Anyway, let me just think. Yeah, it's, it's not fun that he got that. Psychic is... I mean, yeah. Oh, he's going to Mega Evolve. Okay, that's just unfortunate. That's, like, the most overpowered Mega there is. And he's got the Dragon Dance. So, uh, hopefully this does not tear true. And the, uh, the, the straight-up, um, whatever that ability is called. Yeah, Dragon Descent shouldn't one-shot, though. Because we have the, uh, oh shoot, oh yeah, that's close enough though, wow. Yeah, but I think we survived this now because he's going to take quite a bit of damage here. Maybe not a one-shot, yeah, definitely not a one-shot, I mean, I'm not surprised. But it's going to be low enough to where the Weavile can come in and hopefully finish the job. He has a weakness policy, but unless he has extreme speed, we should be fine. And even if he does, I mean, I do have the Escadrille in the back, which can Toxic. I mean, though, I'm not going to lie, this is actually going to do a lot of, a lot of damage. So do I, s I mean, I could sacrifice something else. Um, he has the Salamence and the Charizard. And he has something else, which I forgot about. It was one of those, um, I don't even know. It's a pretty good team. I think the Hatterene is going to go down here. It's going to be good for the Salamence, though. That's the thing. Like, do I really need to sacrifice it? Maybe the Heatran dies. No, but I need the Heatran for the Charizard. Charizard could be sacrificed, to be honest. It's not really going to do much in this battle anymore. Not that I can think of. I mean, it could go in on the other Charizard and heal. I think I have to make that sacrifice because, I mean, Hatterene just has more value. Um, well, truth be told, I actually forgot what his last Pokemon was. So if I remembered what that was, I could actually get a better informed decision here. Because Charizard does not need to be sacrificed. It's a really good Pokemon that can be recovered. But, like, if you guys see what I'm saying, like, the Hatterene doesn't have to go down here. I mean, well, I do have the Weavile for the Salamence, which should hopefully suffice, and uh, the Focus Sash, so I think I actually will let it go down here. Charizard might have been the better pick, but I actually don't remember what his last Pokemon was, which is why I'm not doing that. Then he actually plays it safe and goes for the Earthquake, but now he tells me he has that, which is kind of scary. Although, yeah, if he's running that, I'm hoping he doesn't have Extreme Speed. The Extreme Speed probably will actually finish me off with the Weakness Policy. But he did go for the Dragon Dance, so he's probably going to be confident that he outspeeds here. That's why the Ice... I mean, the Ice Shard might not actually not KO. Like, if it doesn't, we're in trouble. Although, we have the Excadrill. Oh, he actually withdraws. That's a surprise. Metagross comes out instead. Yeah. In a sense, it's a good thing we got rid of the uh, Hatterene. Because that would not fare too well against the Metagross. Yeah, this is quite a hard battle, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this guy is not a joke. Um, bullet Punch especially is gonna be an issue. Do I need Tangro? Probably not, because all, all his Pokemon have super effective attacks. 
So I'm gonna let the Tangro go down here or take a lot of damage. Whatever it's gonna, ha whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen here. But you know, Excadrill should finish the job against this. And it's also not actually technically the uh, Mega or whatever, because he just used his Mega on something else. So I should be fine. I think the Heatran actually pivots back in. Um, maybe not. Maybe it does. So I don't think he's gonna have the balls to go for an Earthquake here. And I want to definitely regenerate what I can regenerate. So. This might have not been a great play, but I'm fine with it. Because I want to pivot in the, uh, yeah, whatever it's called. Although he could get the attack boost. Although I'm not too concerned because Earthquake should do massive, massive damage to him. So now hopefully the uh, Earthquake comes out and we get to pivot in for free. We'll see though if this player is a player of skill because if he actually predicts that and just goes for another meter mash, that's not going to be fun. It should still hit relatively hard though, but it won't, it won't be fun. But yeah, I need to save the Heatran for the Charizard. Because unless a Charizard has Focus Blast, Heatran completely walls it out, and that's going to be a lot of fun to see. Let's see what he goes for here. Oh, Zen Headbutt, that's insane. So either he made a prediction or he doesn't have Earthquake. I actually don't know what it is. I'm just going to go for the knockoff in case he has some sort of item. He does not have an item. Well, I mean, I actually don't need this, so we're just going to let it go down. Or we're just going to take some damage. I don't know what it is. Actually, I could use it as a sacrifice. But I want to keep the Heatran alive. That's the problem. And I don't want to lose the Focus Sash on the Escadrille. Yeah, this is tough. Although I think Charizard comes out next. Sets up the Sun. Which shouldn't activate the Charizard since I have the Heatran available. Yeah, it's hard battle, I'm not gonna lie. But I think the Tangro goes down here. I shouldn't have started with the Earthquake rather than going for the knockoff. It's a misplay on my part, but it's alright. And he actually, unfortunately for him, has not gotten an attack boost yet. Well, hopefully he doesn't finish out the Charizard with the Bullet Punch. It shouldn't because clearly this isn't, you know, gonna be that capable. It doesn't seem to be. And I'm actually just gonna go for the Roost. Hopefully he goes for the Bullet Punch here. If he goes for the Zen Headbutt, then we're cooked because that's going to hit like a truck. And we might actually, like, put ourselves in a terrible place. It depends. I could be selling right now. But I'm hoping he goes for the Bullet Punch if he hasn't. Please, Bullet Punch. Oh, shoot. We messed up, guys. We definitely messed up. Yeah, it's going to hit like a truck. Dang. Actually, not that bad, though. We do take it pretty good. Yeah, this guy is not at all predictable. Like, he is... He just... I guess he didn't have Earthquake. I don't even know what he's running on this Metagross, man. He's got Meteor Mash. He's got Zen Headbutt. But what else is this dude running on his on his Pokemon? That's crazy to me. Like, it's it's an insanely bizarre set. Although, now the Rewild does hopefully... Like, I could probably just go for a Flame Trevor here. And be fine. I don't think I need to, though. Although, this might have a Focus Sash. I'm tempted to just Flame Trevor on what's probably going to be a Dragon Dance. And then Revenge Kill. Wait, so yeah, I don't need this anymore. So Flame Trevor should hit pretty nicely. Yeah, and we do have speed, which is good. He's probably going to go for a Dragon Dance. And uh, this is either Life Orb or Focus Sash since it's not a Mega. Yeah, that does good damage. Do we get the burn? No, we don't. But he's going to get the Dragon Dance. Although, now we are definitely in a good place in a good time because the Weavile goes in for the Ice Shard. Now, the Charizard's still going to be there. But, you know, we've definitely... We just need to make sure the Weavile stays alive. Like, that's the game plan. You just gotta really plan for the advance when you're using an offensive team like this. It's scary, I'm not gonna lie. But, I mean, we we are not, like, in a place of uh, misery yet. Ice Shard should do a lot to the uh, Charizard, too, to be honest. Yeah, Ice Shard comes out. He might go into the Charizard, but Charizard hopefully doesn't take the Ice Shard too well. I mean, he... he oh, Dynamax. I forgot he has that. Oh, that's tough. And that's annoying too, man. I hate Dynamax these days. It should hopefully still KO though. We'll find out if it doesn't. Okay, good. Yeah, I got really scared there for a second, guys. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like, if that did not KO, like, I planned it all out for that to be how I was gonna win this battle, but that had me quivering in my boots. Okay, now the Charizard comes out. Ah, oh, man. What a scary battle that this is right here. 
yeah, Rewild is the key to my victory here. Um, now this could also be a physical set, which would be insane if it's running Earthquake, but I'm hoping that Heat Train hard counters should. Oh, smart man. Okay, we do get some recovery there. Now what do I do? Goodness. Goodness, this guy is actually insane. He's gonna go for an earthquake. I don't need to sacrifice though. That's the last thing I need to do. I was not anticipating such a good move. Like wow, impressive man. That was a good play. Um Hmm. Well, I probably go into Escadrill here because even if he dragon dances, um we have the uh whatever that thing is called, focus sash. We can get a toxic and then we should hopefully be fine with Ice Shard. No, I don't lose Heatran here though, I keep it alive. Escadrill comes out. If he earthquakes, then I don't even I well yeah, I don't even need to do the um whatever that's called, the uh the ice shard. I can just do a regular attack. So if he probably wants to yeah, so earthquake comes out. It's gonna bring me down to my focus sash. That's fine though, that's went as planned. Now Toxic comes out. Goes for the finish. Okay. But now I get to ice, Icicle Crash, and hopefully that's enough to finish off the Rayquaza and the Charizard. So I think we win this. Although, depends. Let me just check Icicle Crash's accuracy, because that could screw me over. 90% accuracy. I think I'm going to go for it. If we don't land it, we lose the battle. Oh, withdraw. Okay, now do we land? I need this to land. Because if we land, then we should be in a really good place at a good time. Because we don't need to go for the ice shard here. Yeah, let's see how much damage this does. My, oh. Okay, what is this BS? Mysterious air current. Now he could actually theoretically go back into the Rayquaza. And we're choice locked. Dang. Okay, that is terrible. We no longer... He could just switch back into the Rayquaza now. Please don't do that. Please don't go into the Rayquaza here. I think he actually wins. I thought I was going to win this. I don't know if that's how it works though. Okay, he messed up. He sold. He actually sold. He actually could have won that right there. Because that was some BS that I... Maybe that's how it works. But like, that's insane if that's how it works. Now, what do I do here? Um, I could go for the taunt. That is an option. I could go for the switch, predicting the Rayquaza. It's hard. Um, I'm taking the taunt. But not really. Man, why is this such a hard battle? For crying out loud, this is difficult. Oh, goodness gracious, man. If I taunt, then I can ensure that Icicle... God. It's just the fact that the Delta Stream kicked in like that, man. It made this so hard. I want to go into the v -Vile, hoping he doesn't have Focus Blast. He has Air Slash, then it's a free switch. Okay, v -Vile comes out here. Okay, good. We get the prediction correct. We should hopefully win this now. Because he did, he did, he didn't make the wrong, I mean, he didn't make the, I'm not saying that's the wrong move, I just made the right move, anticipating that. It's just, it's so, so difficult, because if we had Focus Blast and went for the mix-up, that would definitely take out Weavile in one shot. I mean, Weavile does have good defenses, it's just, it's not living that. Okay, so Icicle Crash comes out now. Again. Please land. Okay, good. Good. That's it. I think we win this battle, guys. So now the Rayquaza has been finished off. And um, Charizard should theoretically lose to the combination of Icicle Crash and Heatran. If not, then that's just sad. I'll just cry at that point. <laughs> I mean, I could just switch out actually. 
I mean, let me just tank. So, Icicle Crash is a resisted attack. So, Knockoff should theoretically do more damage. So, Heatrain comes out on what's hopefully going to be a Flame Trevor. And then I win if I get this one correct. It's so risky, though, man. He probably he could have Focus Sash. Or, I mean, Focus Blast, but... Okay, Flame Trevor. So, yeah. I think we secured the win here. That was actually an insanely hard battle. Like, this... This guy right here, rank 823, is actually no joke. Oh, I need forfeits, unfortunately. But yeah, that's going to be GG. What a good battle right there.